Hello and welcome, I'm Chris from Aussie Paul and today we're going to be taking a look at CC Vault IO which is a Cardano native light wallet. Um, the reason I like this wallet so much personally is because of its easy accessibility to integrating with dApps and as you all know dApps are coming to Cardano thick and fast. So let's not hang about, let's jump straight into it and I will show you what is needed to set up a ccvault.io wallet so you can integrate with DEXs like Sunday Swap and Muesli Swap and plenty more that are coming. Right, so first things first, CC Vault is available on Android and iOS although hardware capability is not yet functioning on those. Um, we always recommend using a hardware wallet, but if you're looking to just purchase NFTs, send a few transactions here and there, then it's great, and you can still keep an eye on your balance. You can also run the two in parallel, so we're gonna be setting up a Chrome extension, so you can have the Chrome extension on your desktop, and you can run the application on your phone for the same wallet. Right. So head over to the Chrome Web Store and you will find ccvault.io. Add that to your extensions tab and you will get this. So the first thing you will need to do is create your wallet. If you already have a Roy wallet or a Daedalus wallet, you can restore these into CC Vault simply by entering your seed phrase. As everybody knows, keep your seed phrases safe and make sure you're using a trusted party when inputting it and make sure your computer is not compromised. Right, so we're not gonna be doing this. We are going to be creating a new wallet. You need to name your wallet. This is purely for the UI. So it's what it will be listed as for yourself. So a spending password. Right, so the next stage is to read through the commands, um, the prompts should I say. So basically this is explaining that you'll be giving a 24 word recovery phrase, also known as your seed phrase. Um, if you delete the extension, um, if you get a new computer, new phone, then you'll need to restore your wallet using your 24 words. Write this down on paper because if it's online, someone else can access it and someone can then have access to your wallet. And we don't want that. So write these down in order on paper and then you'll be asked to confirm those words by inputting them back onto here. Once you've done that, you have successfully set up your CC Vault wallet and you will have something like this but you also won't show any ada it will just have the name of your wallet zero ada all right so just to have a little look through the ui you've got your account you've got your transactions you've got your send and receive tabs for sending and receiving ada you have your staking center where you can choose what pool you'd like to stake to we're Aussie, so type in the pool's ticker there and it will come up and you can hit delegate. When you hit delegate, it will ask you to confirm the transaction and to confirm that you want to delegate that pool. Delegation costs you two ADA, which is returned when unstaked. You also have to pay a transaction fee for any transaction on the Cardano network. It will be roughly around 0.18 ADA. Way you've got the voting capabilities. You, you can link this to Catalyst. Um, the app is available on iOS and Android also. And you have your settings for setting up things like you know renaming your wallet and access password. So I can lock these wallets here, so anyone accesses this page can't do anything. Um, again, they can't anyway because you need your spending password when sending any ADA. Uh, great thing about CC Vault is on the accounts page you have your summary 
you have your tokens so all your tokens are listed and you can actually view them for a change I have many different tokens in here um, UTXOs and accounts okay multi delegation is now possible with CC vault within your wallet which is known as account hash zero you can have sub accounts which will be account one two three and four you only need one set of seed phrases which are for this account and then as long as the user interface CC vault I believe NAMI is uh, compatible and can read those sub accounts then you'll be able to restore all of them I don't have any sub accounts on here but in this wallet we take a look we have multiple sub accounts all linked to the same seed phrase as the account O so these can all be delegated to different pools you will have to send the ADA um, to each wallet but that can be done easily enough by send to section and it will automatically input the address for you and then you can just go through the stages of you know, writing a message saying how much ADA you'd like to send to each sub account and then hitting delegate so to make sure you're, um, you're using each account you just activate that sub account as soon as you activate that sub account everything you do from here on is for that sub account so your summary is for that account staking for that account send him a series for that account and then to change it you go back onto accounts and accounts and activate a different sub account or main account in this instance I'm not going to try to confuse you um, I'm gonna leave this video at this if you check out the next video video I will show you how to integrate CC vault with a DEX like music slot swap or Sunday swap so thanks for watching uh, hit us up on Twitter discord telegram come and say hi love to get to know you all um, take care out there and hopefully see you all soon and stake Aussie